In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Mew. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about this AI copywriting tool, and I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts along the way. Now, for those of you who don't know what Mew is, Mew offers a wide range of features such as keyword research tools, content grading for SEO blogs, and a cool feature called keyword insertion, which is like paraphrasing on steroids. But I'll get into that a little further down the line. One cool thing about Mew is unlike many other copywriting tools, they don't use the typical GPT-3 for long form blog generation. In fact, they use something more powerful and it's an AI model called J1 Jumbo, which is from AI21 Labs. It is more powerful than GBT3 and the results are surprisingly better. It is trained on a more powerful engine of more than 178 billion parameters compared to GPT3's 175 billion parameters. Now, just before we get into it, these guys are the new guys on the block and this is a paid review which is very brave of them because I am not biased in any of my reviews paid or not. So I'm going to give you my absolute honest opinion as I take you through the Mew features. Now if you have any questions go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a link below that will take you to the Mew website. Here we are in the dashboard of Mew and what's quite nice is it's quite a flat and refreshing dashboard. It's not overcrowded, the text is easy to read it's just well formatted. So what we have in front of us is snapshots and shortcuts directly to all of the tools on this platform, as well as what's going on with our credit, the latest templates we've been using, our available tokens, what's been going on on the platform. And to the left, we also have access to all the tools that we're gonna get into shortly. On the bottom right, you have the keyword insertion tool, which again, we'll get into shortly, and also the scratch pad, which is like a little notepad for us where we can jot down ideas, do save, and then come back to it later. So come back to it later, do save, and you can see if we select it, it appears, which is a really nice touch. I've not come across any other AI writer that does this. So that's very convenient. So we're gonna start off in the keyword analysis section. And what's great about this is that using these tools here does not cost you any credits. So it's basically your own SEO tool inside your AI writer, which is really convenient. Starting off with keyword research, we can either type in a keyword here or enter a URL. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a keyword and we're going to do dog training. We're gonna change the language to English, the location to UK, and do get keyword. So now it's finished loading all the stats for this keyword, and we can see the, the sort of search volume it's getting over a period of times every month. And then underneath, we've actually got the breakdown of the keyword search volume, competition index, and the general competition score. One thing I would like to change in this area is the entries and the amount of entries shown. Personally, the more the merrier for me so starting off at 50 as the default is always handy but it's not a big thing you can also filter each one like by clicking here and it shows searches that haven't properly been indexed by google yet so you've actually got some long tail keywords which might be an untapped traffic source now scrolling down this list i can see a keyword dog tricks which is actually a low competition score and it has around about 2900 searches a month so that's a pretty decent keyword that i could go after so i'm just going to open up my scratch pad and enter in the main keyword dog trick moving on to keyword trends again works very similar to the keyword research enter your keyword and i'm going to go from january the 1st 2020 till today 2022 sadly this isn't working for me i'm not sure why it was working not long ago let me try and refresh my browser and I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, so I've just tried refreshing and again, nothing's showing for me, which is a shame. But again, these guys are new, so hopefully they'll get this fixed. We're now in the topic research and this is where we can research our topics. So go ahead and select it, type in a topic. I'm gonna to do dog training, select the country and do search. It gives a breakdown of key topics with website occurrences, headline occurrences and relevances, which is really good. So you can keep on elaborating on your blogs and filling out those keywords. You can also click the download button, which opens up an Excel sheet with all of this information. But I do think there's a slight glitch here where it's 
exporting the, the progress bars code, but the main information is right here. Let's move on to the content grading. So we're going to go ahead and do generate content and we have two tools here. We've got generating content or if we want to optimize our content, we can do so here. Let's start off with generate content. We're going to start off by naming our content, which is going to be trainer dog to sit. The language is going to be English and the location UK. The main keyword is in fact trainer dog to sit. And now I've added some context for Mew just to help it out generating the content. So now Mew is generating the titles. It's gathering data and analyzing the SEO, which will make things a lot more convenient when we start creating the content. And then it's grading the content, the keywords and all the stuff like that, which let's face it is a huge time saver. And it actually will save us quite a bit of money down the line because we don't need to put it through SEO grading tools as well. One thing that is a little confusing to me is that it says skip and generate. I'm not entirely sure what it's skipping. Um, so that, that might need some clarity there, but I'm going to go ahead and do generate. So it's generated these titles for us and I like this one here. So I'm going to select it and do now. Now it's generated some intro ideas for us and we can actually add our own if we want. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can select this button here and it will regenerate. So these paragraphs are okay, but I actually want it to include something about dog sitting rather than generic training. So I'm going to regenerate. I quite like this one here and I will let you pause the screen instead of reading it out if you want to have a read, but we're going to select this one and do next. So now this is where we start creating the outlines and what this is doing is it's grabbing all the top performing blogs on Google and it's taking all of the heading tag from those blogs. So then we can add them into our outlines and then start creating content based on those outlines. It's basically helping us replicate things that are already working. So I'm going to do this one as the H1 tag. I quite like this one, an H4 tag. This is quite a good one as well. And we'll go ahead and add this one into the equation as well. One thing I don't like about this area is that it's like an iframe of all of this. It's not difficult to navigate, but it's definitely not as clean as the rest of the interface. I think uh, making this area larger would be perfectly acceptable as well. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next stage. So in this area, is where we start creating content and it will also start grading us on the way. We have all of the topics and keywords. We have all of the outlines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just add the outlines to the blog and then I'm going to highlight each one just so I know these are titles. Now just having a quick focus on the right you can see we've got tons of topics and keywords and these are all things that we should try and incorporate in the blog when we do the manual writing. Now like most tools 80% of the work should be from the tool and the 20% should be from you fact checking and making tweaks along the way. We have three buttons here which are power, assist and magic. The power is 100 words it will generate. Assist I think is 250 to 300 and I think magic is up to 500 words or at least that's what I, I think I recall hearing in the video training. So under here all I'm going to do is click power. Okay so it's generated generated this line which is really cool so now it's got generated a bit of an intro for this for this heading here so next I'm going to do assist because I want something longer now it's got this to base on okay so I've tried this quite a few times now and sadly I just can't get this to continue writing for me. It's generating all of these other outlines. Um, this area is really glitching out for me. Uh, I've actually tried this a few times now and it's just not doing a great job for me. I copy these, jot them into the scratch pad and I'm just gonna delete all of this and I wanna see if that makes a difference. Perhaps there's a glitch going on. Uh, so I'm going to do this, do assist. Okay, so now that's actually helped the situation a bit. Um, so it's saying the basic sit command and then and these are actually much better results just briefly reading over them okay so I've just formatted this a bit and again I'll let you pause the screen so you can have a read and we're gonna go ahead and do magic now so it's generated round about these words here it would be nice uh, to have some better formatting going on the idea of an AI copywriting tool is to speed up the process spending so much time formatting it kind of defeats the purpose of it all if you're listening Mio uh, it might be worth to focus on formatting a bit better with the output but overall the actual quality of what I can see 
isn't too bad. Um, I'm briefly reading over it right now and it does actually seem quite good quality. So I'm not sure why this isn't grading me. Definitely using some of these keywords in here. I'm, I'm not sure if this is meant to change or not. Um, it, says it is a grader, so it's meant to. So yeah, I think this might be another issue. Uh, who knows? Let's go ahead and do complete. Okay, so that was the content grading. Let's go ahead and do long form blogs. The main keyword is gonna be dog training. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this text here and just paste it into the description about your blog. And now I'm gonna do next. So now it's gonna generate some heading and I quite like this title. We're gonna do next. We're gonna do it generate introduction. It just wasn't loading any of the introductions. Um, I've been waiting for like, like 25 minutes uh, so I've just refreshed the page gone back and now I'm gonna um, this title and do net and now let's do some introduction and I like this one so we're gonna select that and do net slightly different interface we have a few more options on the editor and to the right we have the same assist power and magic button it's gonna start things off by clicking the assist button and this is much better formatting uh, instantly that's really nice to see really happy to see it like this that's really good let's go ahead and do power okay and it's generated this here again the formatting has reverted back uh, so let me just format all of this and do magic okay so now I'm gonna quickly format it and it's nice to see we've got the heading tag I'll let you pause the screen and have a read in your own time I'm gonna go ahead and press save film so on the overview section and I'm not quite sure what to do from here because the next button is grayed out uh, so if I click eh, it's saying that I might lose data Um, I've not really got any other way of going out so I'm just gonna have to press ok okay so I didn't lose that data but that can be quite concerning so I'll definitely look into that I'm back in the content grayed and I'm going to go ahead and do optimize content and then do next. Okay, so the content name again is going to be dog training, English, UK. The focus keyword is going to be dog training and then something about your content. I'm just going to paste all of that in and do next. We have the topic and keywords which show the search volume. Honest with you, this is kind of the exact same feeling as the other side of this feature. So I'm not 100% sure why I would use one tool over other. And there's not really any training to indicate why I'd use this or that. Um, they're both the exact same interface. Um, and again, the grading feature doesn't work. So yeah, it, it just, it, it's not working for me properly. I don't know if it's my browser or if it's the tool or anything, but I have tried this on Firefox and I've tried this all over over the place and it's just it's not working well now we're going to head into the keyword insertion tool so at the bottom right if you select this and then do keyword insertion this is where we can drop in keywords and then it will add those keywords into the text for us so i'm just going to add in dog training and then i'm going to drop in this text here and then do generate so what's quite cool is it's added this new sentence here which is dog training is important so you'll want to find the best method that suits your dog if you don't like it you can just do regenerate it's added it here dog training needs to start as soon as possible as you bring your puppy home. The best way to train a dog is with positive reinforcement such as treats and toys. If you head over to Mew's website and clicks on how it works, you'll, you'll be presented with some training videos. The training videos don't cover all of the features and tools inside Mew, but from what I've actually watched of these demos, they're very focused and clear and you should be able to pick up the software after watching them. They also have a YouTube video with a few other videos and it's always nice to see video training. I would like to see more video training though for all the other tools inside product. Now it's time to hear my thoughts of Mew. Now, before I get into that, I do wanna say that any company, especially a new product who comes and pays an influencer to review their product with the full knowledge of knowing that it's going to be absolutely honest is a big thumbs up in my eyes because that tells me that they are actually looking for real feedback not manipulated information and they are most likely going to act on my feedback and their customer. Whenever a company comes to me and pays me for a sponsorship, I make it very clear to them that my opinions are my own and I care too much for my viewers to give them any false information. So good on you for coming to me and going that extra mile to make their product better. Now on to my thought. Overall, I really like the interface of Mew. I thought it was clean, easy to read, easy to find things, and it just flowed nicely, which is really important when it comes to streamlining things. There were a few tools in there that just didn't really work for me. 
Um, in fact, I actually found them really difficult to use some of the tools and I also struggled understanding what the main differences were and perhaps that's because the grading tools weren't really working so it just created confusion for me. There's also quite a lot of bugs that are pretty transparent with the text editors and overall that kind of ruined the experience for me because it is a copywriting tool so all of these things should be one of the most fundamental things that work. Now, on a more positive note, I have reviewed tons of copywriting tools and I'm even in the top three spots on YouTube for most of these tools for reviewing them. And I have to admit, on a first take, first generation of the tech, the text of Mew was definitely up there with some of the top performing copywriting tools on the market, which is a big win for a brand new tool. And perhaps it's because it uses slightly more advanced technology to generate the output. So the big question is, would I recommend Mew? At this stage, no, I don't think I would. There was just one too many bugs with Mew or because there wasn't enough training and helpful information to use each feature of this tool, I just, the whole experience for me wasn't smooth and it was quite time consuming. But one thing I am sure about is they're gonna watch this video, they're gonna take my feedback, and I reckon in the next week or two, they would have updated everything on their platform. They would have gotten rid of most of these issues and I reckon Mew could be a real contender with the big boys if they fix these small issues. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.